Hey friends, I am back again. And today I will be showing you another video that I filmed a couple of weeks ago while I was out of town for the high holidays before the war in Israel started. It is with such mixed feelings that I post this, to be perfectly honest. On the one hand, like it's happy content. You know, I was like on vacation, I was having fun, I was exploring a new city, I was enjoying myself so much. It was the holidays, I was with my family, like I was having so much fun. And I was really looking forward to sharing all of this with you guys. But on the other hand, like posting happy content right now still just doesn't feel right because the heaviness and the weight of everything that has happened in Israel and to my people and the anti-Semitism that is really getting bad, folks. I'm losing my words again. I'm losing my words. Like it, it's really hard to know what to do right now as far as posting stuff. On the other hand, like I also am really glad that I have this extra video done so that I can take another week off and just keep processing everything because it feels impossible to process everything. The amount of information and the content of the information is honestly too much for a person to process. I don't think that we're meant for this well, we're not meant for these sorts of atrocities in the first place. We're not meant for that. And then trying to process it all, it's... And because more stuff keeps happening with the anti-Semitism and, and, and the, all the news that keeps coming out, like it's, it is a lot still, it is a lot. So that is why I say it was sort of like mixed feelings, I guess, I am going to go ahead and post this content. So please know that this was filmed several weeks ago while I was out of town for the high holidays before the war started. So that is why the feel of the content is what it is. But I guess this little intro is also like a little update on how I'm doing over here on this side. It is still very hard. It, it's hitting all of my friends really hard. It's hitting all of us really hard. The Jews are very connected people. And so while even though it's not happening in our neighborhood, it's still happening to our people as a whole. And the anti-Semitism is completely happening in our neighborhood. So <sighs> anyways, that's where we're at right now. I'm kind of talked out of it, honestly. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. And we will dive into the video here momentarily. But first, I just want to give a big thank you to a longtime sponsor to this channel, Native. With the Native Best Sellers Pack, you can enjoy every part of your shower routine with their body wash, deodorant, and deodorant and body spray. Plus, their products are clean, simple, and effective and will keep you smelling good all day. Native has a huge range of scents to please anyone, from the subtle sweetness of vanilla with the beachiness of coconut or the calming salty breeze with sea salt and cedar. Or if you like something sweeter, you can enjoy the fruity sweetness of sweet peach and nectar. Whatever combination you can think of, they probably have it, with limited edition scents launching all the time. A few from my most recent order were lilac and white tea, which smells soft and sweet like a tea party in a botanical garden. Also grapefruit and bergamot, which smells sweet with just a tang of earthiness and powder and cotton, a longtime favorite of mine, which reminds me of fresh sheets hung outside in the springtime breeze. Let's talk classic deodorant. It provides up to 72 hours of odor protection, plus it's aluminum free and paraben free. Now the body wash, more clean, effective, and simple ingredients here too. It's phthalate and dye free, vegan and cruelty free, with citric acid for pH balance to keep your skin ultra happy. And my newest fave is the deodorant and body spray. It applies light as air, a cooling light mist that dries on contact, leaving you smelling great and feeling fresh. Made with just six ingredients, including nitrogen and ozone-friendly natural propellant. Get your best sellers pack today, normally $36, but with my link and code FIREFLIES7, you'll get your body wash, classic deodorant, and deodorant and body spray for only $24. That is 33% off. Of course, I've left you all of the information down in my pinned comment and in the description box below. So be sure to check that out when you're finished watching the video here today. All right, and with that, let us move on to today's video, which is some more of my trip to Lakewood. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of four. And today it is Sukkot Chol 
Okay, so what that means is that we are in the middle of Sukkot. The first two days are holidays, which are very similar to Shabbat in that we don't drive, use our phones, things like that. And now we're in the middle days. And then the last two days are the same, no phones, etc. So here in the middle, we don't work, hang out, we do fun things, and that's what we're doing today. So still in New Jersey, having a great time, really enjoying Lakewood. So what we're doing right now is me and some of the fam are headed out to go pick up a few necessities because when you're on vacation you always just you need things like we need more diapers and stuff like there's just some basics that we need so we're headed off to get those and then we're gonna go to a really big super awesome grocery store that is entirely kosher and I am so very very excited for this so take you along let's go so our first stop was a shoe store because my daughter had a growth spurt while we were on vacation, literally to the point where she needed new clothes and new shoes. So I picked up a pair of new shoes for her here at this outlet store. So once we were done at the shoe store, we popped over next door to Target to pick up a few things. We were gone for a total of about three weeks. so. We just, yeah, we needed stuff. Plus I was picking up some stuff for my sister's new house. It's my sister-in-law, by the way, not like my sister by birth. It's my sister by marriage. Okay, I think we've got pretty much everything. I'm just gonna go back and find Mr. Firefly because he is looking for a Nerf gun because they're gonna be having a Nerf gun fight later. But I got everything else that I need here, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Next stop, the grocery store. So when we got to the grocery store, I realized that this Judaica store, Judaica Plaza, was open and I really wanted to go there with Mr. Firefly. He had not been there yet and I really wanted to take him so that he could see it and get anything that he might want to get and we did pick up a gift for his sister. So this is just a little peek inside of a Judaica store. You can see you can buy like all the Jewish things. There's like hand washing cups and challah boards and kiddush cups and of course books galore. Lots and lots of books on all kinds of different topics. There were kid toys there were things you might want in your kitchen like color-coded knives for meat and dairy uh, there were all kind of like different uh, kippa decorations there were people there as well I'm not really sure how I managed to film all of this without people because it actually was really quite crowded but y'all know I don't like to film people out in public so I was just getting really lucky walking through all of the aisles and not running into a bunch of people and of course, we have absolutely nothing like this in Dallas. We do not have any kind of a Judaica store or Jewish bookstore at this current time. We have had in the past, but it's been a long time. So being able to see all this stuff in person and a lot more variety than, than was online is really fun. Okay, same shopping center. Now we're finally making it into the kosher grocery store. Again, there were a lot of people, but I was trying to film in a way that I wasn't filming a bunch of people. So let's go see the grocery store. And again, there is nothing like this in Dallas. We have a couple of smaller grocery stores, more like a little market. And then we have a, gr a large grocery store that does cater to the Jewish community, but it's not all kosher. The sheer amount of magical kosher things here is just amazing. I can't even, we're just, we haven't even gotten past like the candy section yet. It's so amazing. Paper goods is a thing because a lot of people use the paper goods on Shabbat or Yom Tov during a holiday because then they don't have to do the dishes and they're not, they're not spending their whole day doing dishes. So I like to use real dishes, but it's a thing that a lot of people will use the paper goods. And so that's why there's such a huge selection of paper goods here. the cheese selection, you guys. Just like the variety of foods and things like that here is just phenomenal. It's, it's very impressive. Yeah. 
So one of the things that I will say is like going to a grocery store, I'm constantly having to check the labels on things to see whether or not it's kosher. Here, I don't have to do that. It's like, you know, we talk a lot about today, like the mental load of everything. This reduces the mental load significantly. Like the juice aisle in particular has always like been a really stressful part of grocery shopping because it's really hard to sometimes find a kosher juice because juice we have to be especially careful about because of grape juice. So here it's just all kosher and it's just so nice. Okay, so we're headed back to the house now. We've gotten everything that we need to get. Probably more than we needed to get. My chocolate pudding. <laughs> okay, so anyways, we're gonna head back to the house now and like just kind of unpack everything, get settled. And then I know we're gonna have some lunch and then take the kids out to a fun activity later. So I might film a little bit of that. And, um, and that's, that's our day today, so. All right, so see you guys here in a few. Bye. Okay, first stop. Slime University. Okay, so after going home and getting settled and unpacking all the groceries, me and my sister-in-law took the kids and we went out for a fun activity. She found this place called Slime University. It was very cute. The kids had so much fun. Uh, slime is not my favorite thing in the world. I don't know if it's any parent's favorite thing, but the making of the slime was super duper fun for the kids. Of course, this place had it all arranged where they're bringing out the ingredients and the kids are getting to pick out what kind of slime they want to make and what colors they want to use and different add-ins and bonus little extras. And it was, it was really fun. The kids, yeah, had so much fun. Obviously, when you're doing basically a science experiment and getting to play with slime, you really can't go wrong with this age range. My daughter chose a classic slime, which she did in the color orange. And little dude did a sand slime, which he did in a green color. The sand was like green and blue, it was super cute. Okay, so we're here at Slime University. The kids are having so much fun making the slime. I've never been to a place like this before. This was my sister-in-law's idea such a hit with the kids. So we're about to decorate our slime now that they have made it. And I don't know, <laughs> we'll see what happens here next. So my oldest firefly stayed home for a Nerf gun battle. So that's why he is not here. All right, so here the slime is totally all mixed up and done and they added a scent. Everybody chose candy corn and then they mixed in some glitter and then some little like balls of styrofoam i guess i don't know they ended up getting all over the house but that is okay and these little um like little add-ins these little i don't know they're not gems but i don't know whatever and then they just sat and played with their slime for a little while as long as they wanted to before they added their slime onto the slime wall there in the back of the building it was quite a lot of slime on the wall, but my kids really enjoyed being able to put their excess slime up there, what wouldn't fit in the container with all of their add-ins. Okay, I think the kids are wrapping up here. We just put our slime on the slime wall for all eternity, or at least as long as the slime wall is in existence. Uh, they're just playing with their slime now, and then we're gonna head out, I think, and go Probably just go home, but we might stop by the grocery store on the way home. But like a Trader Joe's. Oh, I think we're going out for ice cream. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna go out for ice cream, I think, on the way home. All right, see you there. Okay, and now we're off to ice cream. So I had seen this ice cream shop when I was clothes shopping the other day and so i brought everybody back here i was really excited to try it out my sister-in-law had not tried it out yet they had a ton of flavors it was really cute i was having trouble telling online whether or not it was kosher but it was there with all these other jewish stores so i figured it was and when i walked in i asked them and the staff was super friendly and pointed out their certification which they had hung up by the front door so that uh, made me feel perfectly comfortable to eat there. So we all got some ice cream and then I brought a milkshake home for my oldest firefly since he was not with us. All right, so we're back at the house now. So I'll catch you guys in a few moments when it is tomorrow. All right, and we are back for another day of this vlog. So it is 
Tuesday, I do believe. I think it's Tuesday. So we have a little bit of plans today. They kind of keep changing. Like I don't totally know what we're doing today, but I'll take you along to see what happens. So far today, I skipped off to the grocery store to buy some more coffee because I was out of my cold brew. So I went and got some more. And then um, I came back home. I finished up my tefillah, my morning prayers. I did that in the sukkah this morning. And now I'm sitting inside and just kind of chilling out a little bit. So we're starting to figure out a plan to figure out what we're doing today. There's talk of going to a farm. There's talk of doing some shopping. There's other life things that I have to do, like going to a dry cleaners apparently. So yeah, there's just, there's stuff happening, but we will figure it out and we will get there. But for now, I'm just kind of hanging out and waiting. So I'll pick up the camera again when something more exciting is happening. Okay, you guys, I'm out with Mr. Firefly. We are looking for a dry cleaner. Yes, I know it is the middle of the holiday and we should not be doing laundry at this time. However, because we're on vacation, Mr. Firefly only has one suit with him and he was gonna wear it for the whole time uh, for the, the first days and for the last days here of the holiday. However, during the first days, it got very dirty because kids. So um, he definitely needs to get his suit clean because it is it's he can't wear it, it's too dirty. He then needs to get it cleaned at the dry cleaners or buy a new suit. So we're hoping to find a dry cleaner anyways. That is why we are out looking for a dry cleaner right now, but normally we don't do laundry at all here during the holiday. Okay, that said, we are in a place right now, it's a neighborhood, it's all Jews. It's literally, I'm like, I, I did not know such a thing existed. This is kind of like, I'm like, what? So basically there's like a bunch of apartments all around, <laughs> uh, maybe townhouses also, I don't know, but a bunch of apartments. And there's like this shopping center here in the middle, which is where we are. Here, let me show you. And I'm just, it's, it's all Jews. I just, we do not have this in Texas. We don't have this in Texas. But anyways, there's a kosher grocery store over here. There's like a kosher ice cream store. There's there's a flower shop. There's a hair cutting place. There's a suit place. There, everything's closed except the grocery store because it's the holiday. But um, it's all Jews. I've just never seen anything like this before. It's pretty cool. Okay carry on. <laughs> I'm going to get back to it and I'll, I'll, I'll pick up later when something more fun is happening. But this was really fun. Okay, so driving by, do you see everybody had a sukkah on their balcony or like downstairs? Like it's, wow, it's just really neat. This must be where Israel is like, I don't know. I've never been. <laughs> All right, so we came back here to the sukkah. We're hanging out, having lunch. We're about to head out to a carnival for the kids. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film there. I'll film a little bit, but I don't like to film other people without their permission. So I'm not gonna film a whole lot while we're there probably, but I'll do what I can. But I wanted to follow up about that neighborhood that I saw. I talked to my sister-in-law about it and she told me that they have to do an interview to live there. So everyone is in fact Jewish and they're all probably like the very much same kind of Jewish. And now, now I'm dying to know what I make it through the interview process. I don't know. Time will not tell though, because I'm not gonna live there. Anyways, we're gonna head out to the carnival and uh, yeah, so see you in a second. Okay, so we had a change of plans. The carnival place was incredibly packed. So we came out here to a farm and this is a farm in the backyard of somebody as far as I can tell. And I am very excited to check it out.
This place is so much fun. The kids are having, there's roosters next to me. The kids are having an absolute blast. It's so calm and peaceful out here. The carnival that we were going to go to, we drove all the way out to the carnival. I'm telling you guys, it was so crowded. People were like parking on the grass. Like, like there was just no space to be there. And crowds are, crowds are super not my thing. And yeah, so we found this place. This is so, so much better. Everyone's having so much fun and everyone is very glad to not be in a very, very crowded place. So I'm just gonna hang out here for a while and I guess go back home. So pretty simple day today, but stay tuned because I'll be back in a few moments with tomorrow. The farm, by the way, is owned by an Orthodox Jew, and there's only one other family out here besides us, so that's super fun. Uh, I was chatting with them a little bit. They're from Brooklyn, and so peaceful here. So I keep telling my husband, like, this is the dream. We can move out here to New Jersey, we could have a farm, but uh, no, no, we'll be, we'll be in Texas. Okay, friends, I am now in Passaic, New Jersey. Okay, so we have left Lakewood where we'll be spending the rest of the holiday here in Passaic. It's been a long drive. <laughs> it's only like an hour drive, but we are here in my other sister-in-law's beautiful sukkah. And the neighbors are apparently having a party. Okay, I don't know if you can hear the background noise, but there's a lot of music. Anyway, so we're here, nothing really happening today. Nothing really happening. I don't think but there's just no big plans now through the end of the holiday other than the holiday itself, which I cannot film on. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and close the video out here and just enjoy the family time here for the rest of the holiday. And then I'll be back at it next week with regular videos and stuff. I mean, I guess this is a regular video, but you know what I mean. All right. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Thank you all so much for tuning into this video. Be sure to give this video a like, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Helps my channel out a lot, as do your comments. So let me know how your day is going down there and what you think of this whole Sukkot thing. All right, and with that, we are done. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. Okay, so we came back to the snook, snooker.